I often think of life, and I reckon life is very similar to a visit to a very busy and gigantic coffee shop. No one walks in and gets a drink just because they have arrived. And there certainly isn't a standard form of drink for everyone. There are things that we need to do and decisions we need to make before we get our drink. First of all, we need to walk to the counter and place an order. What is it that we want? Just like real life, we've got to decide what it is that we want. And we need to work towards achieving that. So you go to the counter and you place an order. If you want um, something like coffee, you've got to be very specific. What is it? Is it actually a latte? Is it a mocha? Is it a cappuccino? What is it? For tea drinkers, the choices are slightly different. And if you happen to forget the name of your favorite brand of tea, you could always come up with a color. Green, red, black. But be aware. Don't stand there and argue because the black tea that you ordered isn't actually black. Well, you know it's not black. But because everyone else has agreed to call that black tea, I guess you're forced to call it black tea as well. But there are times that you could push for your say, and you don't have to submit all the time. When it comes to ordering your drink size, if they're asking you for tall, grande, or winty, you could come up with your own definition. It's okay, say a small, medium, or large, they would understand what you mean. So you don't always have to play a game by someone else's rules. And also, you don't have to be in majority all the time. There is nothing wrong with being part of the minority. So if you happen to be one of those very few people who don't like milk or allerg is allergic to milk, you could always ask for soya milk. It's fine. No need to be ashamed of that. <laughs> then, you want to choose a piece of cake or chocolate to go with your drink. They all look so attractive. The general rule is, the more attractive it looks, the more harmful it's going to be for you. <laughs> I guess in real life it's the same rule, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, I can see some people have experience of that. Okay, you have placed your order, now it's time to pay. But there's still some more decisions to be made there. Do you want to pay? Use a cash, credit card, debit card, it doesn't really matter. But the most important thing, and I cannot emphasize enough, the most important thing is to remember to hand in that loyalty card. <laughs> every stamp counts, and every stamp would take you one step closer to that free drink. <laughs> An achievable dream to most of us, I know, but if it persists, one of us, one day, may get that free drink. <laughs> enough, enough of the dream. But in reality, you've got to keep an eye on your dream. Don't forget that. It doesn't matter how impossible it sounds or it looks. Just go after it. Okay, you have placed an order. You have paid your order. Now you need to wait patiently for your order to be assembled. Either wait by the counter, or if a number is given to you, you can take a seat and wait for your drink to be delivered to you. You can use this time to decide. Do you want a little bit of milk in your drink? Do you want some sugar, perhaps sweetener, a dash of, I don't know, cinnamon, provided you're not part of your drink, is okay. But no matter what you do, do not, and I emphasize again, do not look to the right, do not look to the left. The chances are you get a glimpse of someone else's drink, and it always looks tastier than whatever it is that you have ordered. I don't know if you know, you've noticed, but you know that drink that comes with this much fresh cream on top? It's always someone else's order. It's never yours. I don't know what, but those delicate, Coffee art on top of coffees. You know, 
those delicate leaves that beautifully drawn. It's usually someone else's order. Well, okay, there are days that you might get that on your drink, but there are days that your drink comes without any coffee art or with a heart. But I call it a heart, but what it means is a cross between badly smudged heart and a blob. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. It's just the surface. It doesn't really matter. It's the drink that matters. What you need to do is just take a selfie of yourself with your drink, load it on Facebook, and move on. <laughs> the chances are you are going to get more like from that blotched coffee art than the proper coffee art of the shape of a leaf. Okay, so you get your drink. You take your drink to your table, you put it on the table, then you realize out of all these tables in the coffee shop that you can, could have chosen, you have chosen one wobbly one. So the minute that you put <laughs> your drink on the table, a fifth of it is actually on the floor, on the table, in the tray. So you need to get up, find some tissue and clear the mess. After that, you can finally sit down and enjoy your drink. Well, I say you can enjoy the drink, provided you haven't missed that small window of opportunity when the drink is not too hot to drink or is not too cold either. But the chances are you have already missed that window. So when you come to drink that, it's already too cold. Don't sit there and be upset and worried about it. Either take it back to the counter and ask, for them to put it in the microwave or something. Or drink it as soon as possible, because the longer you wait, the colder it's going to get. <laughs> and this is like, just like problems that we see in real life. You need to deal with it quickly. No need to hang about. OK, so we have ordered. Now we got our drink. We sat down and have our drink. But that's not the end of the story. Now you've had your drink, now the coffee, sugar, or the artificial replacement mm -hmm. is working its way through your system. And there will be, mark my word, there will be health consequences for that, and you end up paying for it. Still, what we order in the first place is not going to be independent of our financial situation. And also the experience of being in that coffee shop is going to very much depend on which part of the planet this coffee shop happens to be, which coffee shop it is, who's serving us, what sort of day has that person had, how comfortable your shoes are when you walk to that coffee shop, and the list of external factors that can have effect goes on and on and on. Yes. Life is like a visit to a coffee shop, but remember to enjoy your visit. Thank you. <laughs>